consciousness of our weakness and our sins are going to become less and less important to us. Because why? There's a shift happening. Oh, oh, I feel this. There's a shift happening from unrighteousness consciousness, which was our prevailing identity or force over identity, is being shifted to something much higher. Righteousness consciousness. What if we gave as much attention to the righteousness that we are? And what is that righteousness? The righteousness of God in Christ. What if we studied that? What if we talked about that? What if we reminded ourselves of that? What if we reminded each other of that? What if we dreamed about that, ruminated about it, prophesied it? What if we sliced and diced and slurried it and minced it? That's all we could talk about is the righteousness of God in Christ, which we are. Would that affect us any, do you think? Oh, boy. I think we're, we are moving into some good territory. So, um, I want to make one last comment. Jesus said to Peter, he asked him a crucial question. Peter... Who do you say that I am? Oh, Peter piped right up and said, Well, Jesus, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus replies, Well, a spirit, uh, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. But you got that by revelation. Revelation. Heavenly revelation. This was not a product of your mind. This was not the product of you searching the scriptures and coming up with some good verses to quote. You got this by revelation. That's what Jesus said. You got it by revelation. Now, listen to what Jesus says. And this is a, a premise, a pathway, and a goal. A premise, pathway, and goal that I believe we, we're, gonna, we're walking into. That's this. Jesus said, up on this rock of revelation, I believe is what he's saying, upon this rock will I build my ecclesia. What is the ecclesia? The called out ruling ones. The ones who will rule with me, the ones who will rule with Father, the ones who will rule over the earth, the ones who fulfill Daniel 7, 27, which says, and the greatness and the sovereignty of all the kingdoms under all the heavens will be given into the hands of the people, the saints of the living God. How will we ever be able to walk in that? When we learn how to live by revelation. Jesus said, upon this rock. Now, rock is kind of uh, confusing in our terms. In our modern day, we don't understand what rock means. And so we've misconstrued it to think it's, well, upon Peter, we're going to build the Catholic Church. No, 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 a thousand times no. What is it? Upon your ability to hear in the Spirit. Upon your ability to get in touch with your own Spirit and move where your Spirit and God's Spirit function together. When you learn how to do that, that's how I'm going to build my ruling ones. Now, what did I say? I believe that principle is going to be our premise, our pathway, and our goal. So when it comes time to share, when we're in the beginning of our times together, oh, we all share fun stuff. When we have a great time, there's no need to have any parameters. We're just having a good time. We're just good friends hanging out, sharing good stuff, and, you know, inspiring one another. But when it comes to the most intimate of heart times when we're in the heavenlies we're wanting to set our sights on learning how to do what Jesus valued at that point that is to learn to live where our spirit and the spirit of God intersect and this natural boiling over or 
Isaiah 66, 2, something trembles inside of us. You may have tears as one of your evidences. That's where we want to learn to govern ourselves, to guide ourselves, to train ourselves to learn how to move together as a corporate group. So uh, there's a lot of room for learning. I don't have it down, but you notice several times when I was sharing raw data, sharing verses, theology, I had to work in my mind to get thoughts together so I present them coherently. And then I said, now let me stop just a second. Oh, it's touching me right now. It's so real to me. It's something I've, I've uh, exercised with since I was a teenager. I said, okay, now I have to go to my spirit man. Because why? Because brain waves only produce after their own kind. Brain waves do not produce life. Knowledge begets knowledge. If I want to produce or beget life, I have to go to my spirit man. So I have to drop down out of my head and I begin to call it up, engaging with my spirit and speaking from my spirit man. Now that's going to be a different, it's going to look different to all of us. And so we give each other a lot of latitude to figure out how that works. <laughs> But if you don't mind, we give each other a lot of latitude as the group to also have some learning moments along the way and uh, kind of train ourselves to move in the spirit when we're in that time of our time together. In the beginning, a lot of fun and games, laughter, you know, brains, thoughts, whatever, and, and it's permission granted. When we move into the more places where uh, we're wanting to stay on track with what God's heart, His Spirit Himself is doing. That's where we're going to entreat each other to live and move and have our being at that level also. All right? This is not a correction. This is a learning moment. This is just stating for the record. This is our premise. This is our pathway. And this is our goal. Why is that? Because I believe Jesus set the value on it when he said, you learn to walk that way, that's how I will build my called out ruling ones. That's how I build my true church. The ones that know how to govern, they must know how to do this. So that's my value system because I think Jesus put a value on it. And uh, let me just speak that blessing over us. Lord Jesus, thank you for putting a value on it in front of us in scripture and we think, we believe we can see it and our heart wants to embrace it and now Lord as a leader here just I speak over it with authority, delegated authority that Lord that favor and that grace is going to manifest in rich form among us we're going to be able to walk in it with more consistency and congruency and con uh, 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 continuity than ever before. We would be your called out church, your called out mature sons, your called out ruling ones. We believe that's a calling, one of them that you have over our lives. And we say yes to you. Amen. Now, May the grace of our Lord Jesus and the favor of our Father be so rich to you as it stirs the cockles of your heart. <laughs> and may you dance like a calf let forth from a stall. And may your words be born out of this effervescing, this percolation that happens up out of your spirit, man. And may you be contagious calling people into the kingdom, maybe with not even your words, but with your look or your tears or your kindness and so much more. Amen. I love you all. We'll talk again real soon.